from education to health care. In the next nine months from now, the Ojo General Hospital will be ready for operation. Now, this is coming from the State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akia Bayami, who made this comment when he paid a visit to the construction site at Ojo. Take a look. This is the ongoing project at the Ojo General Hospital in Ojo local government area of Lagos. The project was conceived by the administration of Governor Babajide Sonwulu over a year ago to improve access to quality healthcare services in neighboring communities in the state. The State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akia Bayomi, arrives at the site to inspect the 280-bed facility under construction. He moves around the project site to see the progress made so far. The commissioner says the facility is designed with special attention to low carbon footprints. And below that ground there, the water is about one or two meters below. Down, yeah. Four meters. Right at the point of design, we've paid attention to the functionality, the flow of the patients, the flow of the staff. We've made sure that the construction is low carbon and that when the building is completed, we've put um, design features into this building that will keep it naturally as cool as possible. We all know that the price of um, fuel is rising exponentially and it's becoming harder now to maintain our public facilities because of the cost of fuel. And so in keeping with the climate change um, directives, um, construction moving forward should pay attention to low carbon in terms of how the building is built and also low maintenance costs so that we don't have to use a lot of electricity to, to have a functional building. We are building it in keeping with the environment. So we spent a long time looking at the, where the sun rises and sets and what type of winds are coming off the ocean. Um, we've orientated the building in such a way that it has natural ventilation and that where possible um, the uh, occupiers of the building as they are working will not require at, as much artificial cooling as is normally required if you just build a glass box and you want to keep the whole building under air conditioning. So many components of this building are going to be naturally ventilated and naturally cooled and it will bring down our cost, which is not only good for us and the budget of the state, but it's also in keeping with climate change directives moving forward in, in mitigation and adaptation strategies to changing um, paradigms around use of fossil fuel. We will also have a lot of renewable energy incorporated into this building, so there will be solar panels. The footprint of the building is very large gives us opportunity to put in solar panels to capture natural heat and uh, natural electricity and energy and combine that with grid energy to keep the maintenance low. The hospital is designed to provide health care services to over 2 million citizens within its catchment area and also provide accommodation for medical staff. There are several features to this hospital. It is a 200-bed, 280-bed general hospital. Um, it has multiple uh, specialties that will be operating here: surgery, medicine, obstetric, pediatrics, uh, neurological, um, infectious disease. All kinds of disciplines will be here. What we're also doing is we are on that side. You can see those buildings there are staff quarters. So anytime, as you know, we've been having long discussions with uh, medical personnel around their comfort and safety within our medical facilities. What we used to do before was just build hospitals without paying attention to accommodation. Now every building has a significant component of it which uh, includes accommodation for medical staff, critical medical staff who need to be around for long periods of time as they deliver their service. So we have four units over there with um, eight flats in each unit and each of those flats is a multi-bedded apartment. So it will create opportunity for us to keep our staff on ground. 
uh, which is very important uh, for the efficient running of the staff. We know that people sometimes have to, staff have to travel long distances to come to work. They have to leave early in the morning and when they are going home after work it takes them a lot of time before they get home. That adds to the job satisfaction of our medical personnel, that they're not going to be put under stress coming to work or put under stress going back home and having to get up very early in the morning to come to work. So these are some of the components we're building into this facility. So this general hospital will service all Lagosians uh, in a catchment area of about 2 million uh, population. So the, that, in that direction along the Badagri, Lagos Badagri Expressway, the nearest general hospital is Badagri. North in this way along Iba Road, you will get to Alimosho. And if you go this way back into Lagos, you get to Amuo Dauphin. So this place here fills a big gap to service essentially the Ojo local government and its catchment area, including into the lagoon communities of like Snake Island uh, and Tinkan Island will drain into this general hospital. The hospital is designed to provide healthcare services to over 2 million citizens within its catchment area and also provide accommodation for medical staff. The Lagos State Government says the Ojo General Hospital will be a one-stop facility that will provide medical services in multiple specialties, including surgery, medicine, neurology and infectious diseases, among others.